I got, I've got to say that um, this is a very civilised way to do politics, isn't it? In the fun. <laughs> Ballarat's a fantastic place. We've got some great things happening, but we've got some big problems. And uh, one of the big problems we've got is poverty. Uh, just to give you an example, you're not in care. Um, we have emergency relief for people that they're getting strife and they just can't pay their bills, so they, they come and make an appointment. Now we're filling our appointments every day in the first 10 minutes. We, we, some weeks we turn away 70 to 80 people. We just can't support, really, a population of 80,000 people when so many of them are doing it tough. Another big issue in Ballarat is loneliness. And um, it's one of the biggest killers in, in, in Australian society, loneliness. Because people, um, um, and, and I think it's part of the problem of um, the way we, we've designed our cities and our, and our communities. At the centre of Ballarat, in you know, the next 20, 30 years, should be the arts of victory. Because it's going to build all the suburbs out the other side. It's got one kinder over that side of the arch. And 23 on this side of the arch. You know, so we've got some big problems in front of us as we start to adjust. But um, what we're going to do is we're going to build houses with, with fences designed so you can't see and meet your neighbour. And, and, and there's hardly room for a tree. There's wasted front land. Uh, nobody uses their front yard. No, who sits out in their front yard and enjoys it? It's just something you've got to clean and, and, and make look respectable or you can park your car there. And so what we've done is we've actually designed isolation in our communities. In Ballarat, last year, there was $57 million of pokies losses that went out of Ballarat. Now, one of the big problems Ballarat has got is pokies. Make no mistake, it's related to the poverty and it's also related to the isolation. And so I, I think one of, that's one of the problems is isolation and one of them is poverty and one of them is violence. One of my visions for Ballarat is to get rid of shots. You, you know, what, what's the value of all these young people sitting at, you know, in the things with half a dozen shots just taking them like that? Each shot has a standard drink in it. Now we're talking about alcohol pops, shots are the, are the big problem because you can have six shots in, 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 in about two minutes and you wouldn't even feel drunk before it's actually hit you. I think we've really got to do something about the poverty, violence and isolation in Ballarat. And, I, and, and some of the things I think that we could do uh, about it is back to how we design our communities. We should design them to get away when we build the rest of the city on the other side of the arch, we should try and find new ways of, of building suburbs. Suburbs that can rely on their own water, electricity and community so that people actually encourage to participate in what's happening through the design rather than be isolated by the fence and locked in. There's no reason why Ballarat should have more pokies than anybody else. We've got too many pokies. You know, since poker machines started in Ballarat, uh, in the first 10 years, we, we lost half a billion dollars. We've had enough money go out of Ballarat on the pokies to buy and build a brand new MCG. Have you the situation, Cliff, that yeah. poker machines are going to be with us forever and a day? Uh, what proposals would you put forward in terms of making the money be used more effectively. Okay. Um, the poker machines, um, I don't see why we have to have as many as we do. There's no reason why Ballarat has to have more poker machines per head of population anywhere else. And, and yet we're way above the rest of the rest of the, the country. In fact, probably up there with the top amount of poker machines per head in the world. Should we cap the amount of poker? We, we've got a cap, but we should reduce them, actually. 